What's up guys, so the Turkish faction was recently re released in squad. Here I'm just going to show you some of the new weapons that have been made available. So I'm currently looking at the rifleman class, you get three different variants. That's the medi class, two different variants. For the first part I'm just taking the basic rifleman with the iron sights. Went up to the shooting range, going to test it out. You'll see that the recoil is pretty bad on this gun. So a lot of recoil, that's automatic. The gun jumps up quite a lot so you'll have to shoot in bursts just to try and stay accurate reload mechanism for the next one I'm testing out the basic rifle with the holographic sight so it's just when you engage a little bit further out makes it a little bit more accurate happy with that one all auto pretty good now I'm gonna put on the scope to see what the scope can do so with the scopes and the updates you can now press F to zoom in this is not zoomed in Now I'm going to zoom in with F. Now I'm able to engage enemies at further out. Nice. For the next one, I'm going to test out the G3. Now, this is the automatic rifle uh, for the squad so just close range you can see the recoil is right and up so all you'll have to shoot first shooting out of the hip goes pretty wild turns into an AA gun <laughs> so you'll definitely want to put the G3 on a bipod when you're firing and you want to keep it accurate does a good job on the bipod good rate of fire nice that was good for this one I'm taking the carbine just testing the carbine so this is for the tank tank crew the helicopters and the engineer or the demo guy you get the carbine it's got a nice rate of fire accurate grouping for close in um, engagements it's got a holographic sights on pretty happy with the punching power of it nice little gun Very nice, impressed with that one. For the next one, I'm testing the GL, so it's just the basic rifle with the AK 40 GL at the bottom. You also get a nice scope with a zoom function. Press F to zoom. Switching to the GL, you have to press 3 and select it. So you get the HE, you get the smokes. That was a good hit. Zoom in, hold S, mouse went up, zoom out a bit. 100 meter, pretty good. I'm gonna show you the LAW now, which is the light anti tank. It's the LAW law. 
So this is if you engage trucks or lightly armored vehicles, not tanks per se. Big bada boom. Happy with that. Now we get to the marksman. If I have a marksman, I also test it at close range just to see how it performs. So first just through the scope, see what the scope does and then shooting from the hip. Sometimes when you're a marksman, you move up, you run into players and you would want to be able to just fire from the hip to defend yourself, take them down. Now on the bipod, nice zoom function. So you can punch out at 250, 300. Nice. This will be a very good weapon to, to have on the battlefield. Nice scope. Recall not too bad on the bipod. Just testing the pistol out. It's, it's very difficult to shoot the pistol in squad. So you want to also use first fire. Just tap off a few rounds. Yeah, we get to my absolute favorite one. It's the heavy machine gun. You'll see that this one has a scope on it. You have to put it on bipod. Also has a zoom function. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the nice one. Good rate of fire. Accurate with the scope. This is where you're gonna cause trouble for the enemy team. So you can engage them and quite far out. Very accurately. Rattle approved. Check the cool reload mechanism here. So it goes through the whole sequence. Looks very nice. New wave functions, point functions. Yeah, I'm just testing shooting out of the hip. So you see that it's going to up and turn into an AA again. Yeah, I'm just testing moving and firing. You'll see it's pretty inaccurate. So. Okay, here's the SPG9. Shoot right over that guy. I aimed at 500, should have been at 300. So the fine signage inside of the scope can be pretty confusing to use. So just come and train on it if you plan to use this weapon. So for 300 between 200 and 400, bit low on that one. Okay, let's try it again. That's 300. Solid hit on the side of the car. That would have done a lot of damage. Nice. Happy with that one. Okay, that's the SP9. Here I'm going to take the carbine just through the shooting house just to see how it performs. So you're a downed pilot, you have to help in your area, or you're a demo guy going after the abs. Nice, good rate of fire, accurate, not too much recoil. Moving through. Target engaging him. Quick reload. Scanning. Spot a target, take him down. Scanning corners, checking every corner. It's important. Move along the walls. Spot a guy, move up to cover. Peak engage. Nice. Happy with that. So in multiplayer you often see that you'll come up right up to guys that won't see you so and guys on different levels climbing up moving for cover first getting stable 
putting rounds down range. Nice. Quick use of a knife, you have to get pretty close to be able to utilize a knife. Pistol is my absolute key point in this game. Just use it to suppress. Peek and shoot. Fatal miss. Nice. <laughs> Put more rounds down range. Okay. Comes up another lever again. This game, they can be below you or higher than you, so just constantly keep scanning, clearing the sectors. You want to move along the wall so you don't get stuck in the middle of the kill zone with your buddies. I'm happy with this one. A bit more distant shooting. It's cool. Switch the pistol when I run out. But to switch to your pistol then reload your gun so try and use that thanks for watching guys see you in the next one